Tonight, on the season premiere of Hometowns The Chase, Yap, Chris, and Aaron enter the trivia arena looking to win thousands of fake dollars. The only thing standing in their way? The Chasers. The Chase is on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hometowns The Chase, the trivia game show where three of my friends try and take down one of our esteemed trivia minds, a.k.a. The Chasers. I'm so glad that you are here watching with us uh, this evening uh, for another great game of trivia. Um, let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. Let's let's introduce uh, our players tonight in the order that you will uh, see them play. First up is Yap. Your boy! Hi, what's up, everyone? I'm Yap. Um, fun fact, I used to work at Amusement Park as a performer. I used to be a gingerbread man and a French general. What amusement park was this? Uh, California's Great America, right? San wow. At Santa Clara, right next to the, where the 49ers play. Wow. that <laughs> You're a gingerbread man. That's amazing. <laughs> I can also do the voice, but I'll save that for later. Okay, yeah. Please, please, please give that to us at some point uh, in this game. <laughs> All right, next up is Chris. Hey, this is Chris um, from BBH17. Um, not not really a f as fun of a trivia that Yap has, but maybe like my name is Chris because I was literally born on Christmas Day. So yeah. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. Um, I my uh, our son that was just born was his due date was Christmas Day, and we we're thinking about naming him like Santa or something. But <laughs> <Ooh. you know? laughs> he was not born on Christmas though, so uh, we didn't have to worry about that. <laughs> and last but not least, it is Aaron. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron. Um, I'm really bad at fun facts, but I will say that my favorite animal is the giraffe. And that's as fun of a fact as I could ever ask for. Is it because <laughs> you're just as tall, Aaron? <laughs> I do feel like I'm like awkward and quirky like giraffes are though. <laughs> All right. First up will be Yap. Yeah, let's go. I'm nervous and excited. It's such a pleasure to be here, Josh. I've always been a fan. Well, I appreciate that. I'm excited to have you. Um I have no idea how good or not good you are at trivia, but I guess we're about to find out. I host a trivia show, but that doesn't okay. mean that you're good at trivia. Well, you're you're preaching to the choir. I like I love trivia, but I love being on this side of the trivia. <laughs> All right, I gotta use the brain. Just woke up too. <laughs> Sleep schedule's been messed up ever since like the holiday season. So it is ten uh, ten thirty a.m. when we're filming this, and I just woke up thirty minutes ago. <laughs> Amazing. Well, let's uh, let's warm the brain 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 up. With the cash builder, you'll have one minute to answer as many questions as you can correct. Are you ready? I am ready. Your time <clears throat> begins now. How did Spider-Man get his powers? He got bit by a spider. Radioactive correct. spider. Yeah, correct. What light absorbing pigment makes plants green? Uh oh, pigment? U of UV? <laughs> uh, chlorophyll. The uh -oh. motto of what fictional school translates to never tickle a sleeping dragon? What the fuck? Hogwarts? Correct. Uh, <laughs> who was the first female writer of SNL? Uh, first female writer? Tina Fey? Correct. Uh, what is the motto for the Boy Scouts of America? Do, uh, 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 do good stuff. <laughs> Be prepared. In electronics, what does HD and HDMI stand for? Uh, high definition. Correct. Cedric, Cedric Antonio Kyles goes by what stage name? Uh, Cedric the Entertainer? Correct. In the Bible, what apostle's name was originally Saul? Uh, 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 uh Judas. Paul. Webster of Marion Webster had what? And we're going to run out of time. It was going to be what was his first name? Uh, Marion Webster's first name is Noah, if you're curious. Mm, All right. Really. Five, five correct answers. How are you feeling about this performance? Uh, pretty good. I mean, there are some that I did not know, but I was able to, like, logically guess you know, uh, so that's good. Uh, I wish I went through all of them, but I, how many did I have left? Um, like two or three. Ah, Just, shoot. I wish I could. I, I usually write now. 12 per cash bill. That's usually about what I can get through. Um, all right. All right. Now it is time to find out who the chaser oh, is that no. we will be facing tonight. 
Will it be Jeff the textbook Ellis? They say everything's bigger in Texas, and that includes Jeff's brain. Will it be Eric the Punisher Taylor? Will he slay with his word play tonight? Or will it be Sam the Killer Lechner? Will Sam make her trivia debut tonight? Or will it be Max the Atlas Teddy? If you are lost and need to be found, he will point you in the losing direction. Or will it be Lizzie the Socialite Travis? Her social game is strong, her trivia game even better. Or will it be Andy the Lockout Vogel? He has the key, he holds it in his hand, and he taunts you with it. Or will it be Amanda the Mad Scientist Lingering? In her laboratory, there's only one solution, victory. I have a guess. Oh, what is your guess? I'm curious. Uh, well, my guess is that I can be like Beyonce and this ain't Texas. <laughs> so I don't want to hold this. I don't want to hold this, uh, this chaser. <laughs> <laughs> what are you implying? Huh? Well, I'm, this ain't Texas, so I don't want to deal with this big old <laughs> Texas boy. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I feel like I know who you're referring to, and I kind of I know. I feel like it's obvious. I feel yeah. like, I'm, like in your face, it's obvious who I'm referring right. to. Right? Yeah, 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 it is. It is. Today's chaser made his chaser debut at the start of season two. Since then, he has been one of our most winning chasers. He made this army with his wordplay, but when it comes to the chase, he does anything but mess around. It's not Jeff. It's Eric, the, the Punisher, Punisher Taylor. Ah. <laughs> hello. hello, hello, and uh, I am definitely not from Texas. And yeah, word of advice: leave the punishing to me. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna beat me up. <laughs> Eric, how are you today? I'm doing great, Josh. Glad to be back into the chase and uh, ready to take down the, already what looks to be a great team. So let's yes. have fun. Should be a good matchup. All right. Yeah, be answered five correct answers. Uh, qu correct questions. Correct. Whatever you did. You got five right in the cash builder. And you will take that against Eric. Here's how this works. You can take the 5,000 that you earned. Start right in the middle of the board and need five correct answers to get home. And subsequently to the final chase. You can make your life a little easier and take a step away from the chaser, only requiring four correct answers um, to get home and be able to make it to the final chase. Or you can take a step closer to Eric, making it a little bit more challenging for the 30,000 fake dollars, and you'll need six correct answers to make it to the final chase. The catch here is, because there's no real money on the table, you are playing for adva the advantage in the final chase. If you take what you earn and you make it home, you'll have a one-step advantage in the final chase. If you take a step away from the chaser, uh, and you will you will lose a step in the final chase, but it's a little easier to get there. So that's the kind of risk to reward. Or you can go big, uh, brave and bold, take a step closer for a plus two advantage, headed into the final chase. Big decision to make. Player in the first position here. We'll bring your team on to discuss the options. Listen, for the memes, I can't go big. <laughs> <laughs> but... I don't know. First time, I mean, you know, this is the most winningest uh, chase, sir. So I think we'll just go with standard. I mean, I don't want to go for 900 pounds, but uh, 5,000 pounds. Yeah, I feel like that's sense. fine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I'm sorry. Uh, much to disappoint my dates, I got to go vanilla here. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> I, I love it. I think it's a, a, you're the first player. No need to make big risks here. Mm -hmm. So for 5,000 and the uh, one step advantage in the final chase, the chase is on. All right, Yap and Eric will lock in their answer to the same multiple choice question. Anytime that Yap gets one right, he'll move on down the board. Anyone, anytime Eric gets one right, he will begin his chase. If he ever catches him, he's out. And that's the end of the road. So we don't want that to happen, oh, of no. course. You can both submit your answers in your Discord chats. Are we ready? Let's do yeah. it. Here's your first question. What fast food restaurant has the most branches in the world? A, McDonald's, B, Wendy's, or C, Subway? I actually ran into this question somewhere before, so. Ooh. Oh, I think. 
I think I know. Is, there's one that could be. I'm going to go with the one I think it is. Good idea, Eric, to go with the one you think it is. Um, <laughs> really, really groundbreaking strategy. <laughs> 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 okay, oh, to try and guess wrong um all right we have two different answers eric has gone with mcdonald's yap has gone with subway the correct answer is subway and yap moves on down the board Ooh, oh, there you go <laughs> i knew I'm recently just... it was mcdonald's at one point but i guess subway is now the thing so there you go <laughs> which planet has 145 moons oh. a saturn b mars or c mercury I feel like I might know this just because I watched Psych and like, you know the episode where they would go to the planetarium and they're like, hey, you hear about Pluto? It's, it's messed up. up. <laughs> I've been rewatching Psych recently. I don't know. It's like a comfort show. I've can, I've thought that's, it keeps popping up on like my, you know, random, whatever, whatever it's on Peacock or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, man, I need to go back to, yeah. yeah, I need to go back to Psych. All right. You both locked in with the answer of Saturn and you are both correct. Yeah, nice. And we're going to name them all right now. Yeah, yeah. all 145. <laughs> Which city is home to the Brandenburg Gate? A, Vienna. B, Zurich. Is it Zurich? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah. Zurich. Oh, no, it's more, add more German flair to that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> a, a, Vienna, B, Zurich, or C, Berlin? There we go. All right. Eric has gone with Vienna. Oh, Yap has gone why? with Berlin. Correct the answer is Berlin. Ah, wow. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is not a fruit? A rhubarb, B tomato, or C avocado? Wait, no, hold up. Is this that technical? Uh, you know what? I think I know what it is, but like, <laughs> if that's that damn technicality, well, like, right. well, technically, it's also a vegetable. <laughs> All right. Um. The correct answer, uh, which was given by one of you, is A, rhubarb. Ooh. <laughs> Gap is correct and moves on down the board. All right, this could send you to the final chase just like that. Um, which of the following languages has the longest alphabet? A, Greek, B, Russian, or C, Arabic? I don't know if that's true. Uh, I think I have a lot of leeway, so I'm just going to go with that. All right. You have both gone with Russian, which is the correct answer. Okay. And just like that, you're headed to the final chase. Easy, easy money. Ooh, I should have gone, gone risky. Thank you so much. Oh, you know, I don't want to carry that that ego to the last chase, but <laughs> it was, it, oh my God, I'm so scared. That's a great oh. start. A great start for the team, plus one head start. And obviously a strong player headed to the final chase. And we will see him, we'll see him in a minute, but we'll see him definitely in the final chase. Eric, one, up, one not so down. Right. Well, you know what? It's one person. There's two people left, and we still got the final chase. So uh, bring on the next player, Josh. Bring gladly. on the next victim. Um, excuse me, the next contestant. <laughs> gladly, gladly. All right. And that person will be Chris. <laughs> All right, Chris, you've seen Yap do it now. How are how are we feeling? See, listening to like the questions and stuff, it really makes me feel nervous. So I feel like Eric might be right that I might be the next victim over here. I'm <laughs> crossing my fingers that hopefully, you know, I answer these questions. All right. One minute to answer as many questions as you can correct. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your time begins now. Tom Bergeron hosted the most seasons of what reality show? Videos. Dancing with the Stars. Star Command is a fictional organization in what Pixar movie franchise? Toy Story. Correct. What directional symbol is hidden in the FedEx logo? Arrow. Correct. What French term for an appetizer means outside of the work? A cart. Hors d'oeuvres. Who composed the popular wedding song Canon in D Major? Mozart. Pachelbel, what is 13 times 3? 39. Correct. Spell mythology. M Y T H O L O G Y. Correct. What famous New Yorker has a 35 foot waistline and wears a size 879 shoe? Uh, Statue of Liberty? 
I'll give it to you. That's correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at the buzzer. Okay. <laughs> right at the buzzer. <laughs> yeah, a little, little, little tricky question there, but it's just. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's bring Eric back in. Eric, what did you think of that cash builder? Well, you know, Chris, you said that you were named after Christmas, right? Well, yeah. I'm here. To, I'm here to put coal in your stocking. Let's win this chase. Oh. <laughs> Eric is on like cloud nine right now because not only is he like getting to do the chase and giving all these puns, but the players are eating it up. <laughs> oh, yes. <absolutely. laughs> so, oh, all right, it. let's I love it. Let's take that money against the chaser. Once again, you can take the five thousand that you earned, needing five correct answers and a plus one head start. You can go low for the nine hundred and the negative one head start, which would break even at the current moment because the app got you the one. Or you can go for the no guts, no glory move and go high in the plus two head start and the 30,000 fake dollars. Let's bring your team back in to discuss the options. Damn, coming in with the shots, Eric. <laughs> Where's my pun? Uh, nope. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, uh, Chris, I think you did a great job because my dumbass would have said Shaq for that last question. <laughs> An 879 foot shoe. I, I heard 39, size 39. <laughs> Um, I don't know, Chris. It's not that bad, honestly, when you play. So, but honestly, I don't know if, like, if you're not that confident, you shouldn't go for like no guts, no guts, no glory kind of thing. Yeah, I I feel like so intimidated by that, so I would rather not choose that as well. Um, Eric, what do you think? I think if you feel most comfortable doing the middle option, that's what you should do. Yeah, I'm leaning towards that. Okay, I'll just go with the middle then. All right, sounds good <laughs> for the 5,000 that you earn and another step in the final chase. The chase is on. <laughs> on a boat, what is the opposite of port? Is it A, bow, B, starboard, or C, deck? On a boat, what is the opposite of port? A, or is it bow? I'm really, really messing up my pronunciations. It's B-O-W either way. Uh, B, starboard, or C, deck. All right. Chris goes with deck. Eric goes with starboard. The correct answer is starboard. And Eric moves on down the board, taking his first step. Left is port, right is starboard, front is bow, and back is stern, I believe. Oh, it is bow. Okay. Uh, here we go. Despite the show's high body count, which of these characters is still alive at the end of Game of Thrones? A, Jamie Lannister, C, Sansa Stark, or C, Daenerys Targaryen? All right. <laughs> All right, Chris has gone with Sansa Stark. Eric has gone with Daenerys Targaryen. The correct answer is Sansa Stark, and Chris is correct. I do not watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> One of the only few shows that I've watched, so I just got oh, lucky there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What company has sparked controversy in Major League Baseball with newly designed jerseys for all 30 teams? A. Under Armour, B. Adidas, or C. Fanatics? <laughs> I'm not a sports guy, so I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> all right. Um, the correct answer, which you both put, is Fanatics. Oh. Erica, <laughs> Eric, what do, you, do you know about the controversy, Eric? Yes, it's really funny because um, let's I won't go into it here, but let's just say the uniforms are a little revealing, if you yes. will. Yes, <laughs> a little, a uh, little bit revealing, if you will. Yeah. All right. Next question: In what language is the phrase Hakuna Matata? A. Dutch. B. Swahili. Or C. Yoruba. You both got it. It is Swahili, of course. <laughs> In what year was eBay founded? A, 1990, B, 1995, or C, 2001? All right. Uh, Chris is gone with 1995. Eric has gone with 2001. The correct answer is 1995. Zig Martin is an egg. Yes. <laughs> All right, Chris, one more correct answer, and you will be headed to the final chase. In what year did Elvis die? A, 1967, B, 1977, or C, 1987? All right. 
Chris has gone with 1967. Eric has gone with 1977. And one of those is correct. And the correct answer is 1977. And Eric moves down the board. Until 1981, Greenland was a colony of which country? A, France, B, Spain, or C, Denmark? All right, you both lost in the answer of Denmark, and that is correct. And Chris, you are headed to the <laughs> final chase. Well done. Great job, Chris. That was a good head to head. That nothing was a great head to head. We're seeing we're, we're back there. up now. We're, we're, yeah, we're yeah. rolling, we're moving and grooving. Oh, I'm so nervous because Yep and Chris did so well. I don't want to let down the team. <laughs> <laughs> they did do well. I'm sure you will do just fine. All right, here we go. Your time begins now. What day is the day after yesterday? Today. Correct. Visa credit cards always begin with what number? Four. Correct. You Are Here is a series of coffee mugs offered by what company? Starbucks. Correct. In what stadium do the Yankees play? Yankee Stadium. Correct. What was Betty White's character on Golden Girls? Rose. Correct. Hollywood Squares was a trivia show based on what kids game? Tic-tac-toe. Correct. What is the square root of 169? 13. Correct. Who was the first cartoon character to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Mickey Mouse. Correct. Who wrote The Shining? Stephen King. Correct. Who played Ken in the recent Barbie movie? Ryan Reynolds. Oh, it was Ryan Gosling. What oh. S uh, What S word is a popular way to say goodbye in Japanese? Sayonara. Correct. Ten correct answers. Bring Eric back in. Eric, what'd you think? Ooh, uh, is the record ten or or for it's ten or eleven? It's ten or eleven. Oh, uh, okay. You might need to add another medal to the back of your uh, wall back there, Aaron. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're about to add another medal. It's honorably lost to the Punisher. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can take that 10,000 that you earned and that plus one head start, giving your team a total of plus three, which would be really great. You can go low, uh, taking a step away in the final chase for the 3,000 fake dollars, or you can go high for the plus two, which would be a total of plus four for the team um, with the 51,000. Let's bring the team in to discuss. Wild good performance, job, Aaron. Aaron. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so good. Uh, I mean, what, follow your heart. Yeah, what do you feel like is good? Uh, I... I don't know. I don't want to risk it and then and then not make it. So That's I think if you guys are okay with it, I think I'll just stay where, where I'm okay oh, with it. You're a ringer. Really like if we lose you, then like <laughs> we screwed. <laughs> so you're a ringer. We we need you. All right. Then for that ten thousand that you earned and the plus one head start, the chase is on. Magnum opus is a Latin phrase for what in literature? A, a love story, B, an author's best work, or C, a tragedy? Yes, of course, an easy start. An author's best work is correct, and you are both moving down the board. How many novels did Roald Dahl write? A, seven, B, 11, or C, 19? All right, Eric goes with A7, Aaron goes with B11, and uh, Roald, Dahl, Roald Dahl wrote 19 novels. Oh. I almost said 19, mm. and then I was like, that seems a little too high. <laughs> How many Spice Girls were there in the original lineup? A4, B5, C6. Okay. I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure you can, and you are both correct with five <laughs> Spice Girls, of course. <laughs> What scientist invented penicillin? A, Alexander Fleming, B, Alexander Graham Bell, or C, Thomas Edison? It was, of course, Alexander Fleming. You are both correct and move on down the board. How many humans have walked on the moon? A, 12, B, 13, or C, 14? All right, you both go with 12 humans that have walked on the moon, and that is correct. 
could have been more, but Apollo 13 couldn't make it. All right, this could do it uh, for you. Here is the question. The greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall, is a quote by who? A, Nelson Mandela, B, Mahatma Gandhi, or C, Martin Luther King Jr.? All right, Aaron has gone with Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Eric has gone with Mahatma Gandhi, and the correct answer is Nelson Mandela. And Aaron is headed to the final chase just like that. Well done. Great match. Well done. In the final chase, it's all or nothing as our team has two minutes to answer as many questions as they can correctly to set a target our chaser cannot catch. They have a three-step head start and have chosen question set A, giving question set B to our chaser. Your time begins now. Yeah, how many points is the inner bullseye worth in a game of darts? Uh, uh 50. Correct. Chris, April 12th, 1861, marked the beginning of what war? Civil War? Correct. Aaron, spell maternity. M-A-T-E-R-N-I-T-Y. Correct. Yeah, finish the nursery rhyme lyric. Baba Black Sheep, have you any what? W wool. Correct. Chris, what is the chemical symbol for sulfur? S-U. S. Aaron, what U.S. city was once called New Amsterdam? New York. Correct. Yeah. What sport does Aaron Judge play? Uh, baseball. Correct. Chris, how many times is the letter N in the word Cincinnati? Three. Correct. Aaron, mead is an alcoholic beverage made from fermented what? Honey. Correct. Yeah. Who played Lizzie McGuire on children's television? Oh, uh, Hayden Panettiere? No, shit, but fast. Hillary Duff. Chris, this year, what month does Easter land in? Wait, what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> this year, what month does Easter fall in? Oh, April? March. Aaron, what kind of animal is Eeyore? Donkey? Correct. Yeah. To be forced to own up to mistakes is to eat what pie? Uh, humble. Correct. Chris, what is the young of a bear called? Cub. Correct. Aaron, what is 84 minus 71? 13. Correct. Yeah. Who co-starred with Will Smith in Men in Black? Uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Correct. Chris, what rays are abbreviated to U, uh, UV? Uh, pass. Ultraviolet. Aaron, the turducken was popularized by what famous NFL coach? Bill Belichick. John Madden. Madden. Yeah. The year of the dragon features on what calendar? A Chinese calendar. Correct. 17. That is a great score. I mean, it's not the 20 that you wanted, but it, but you can get there with the pushbacks because remember, anytime that Eric gets one wrong, we will stop the clock. If the team can get it right, we'll push him back one step. Eric, at a score of 17, you are going to have to limit those. All right. Yeah, 16, 17 doesn't matter. I'm going to catch him anyway. <laughs> it is time for the final chase. Eric, are you ready? Let's do it. Your time begins now. What is the chemical symbol for uranium? You are. Stop the clock. Isn't it just you? I think it's you. Yeah, yeah I think you, right? I lock lock in and you. That is correct. It's just you. All right. 18 steps to catch. Your time starts again. Now, spell immunity. I-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y. Correct. What war ended September 2nd, 1945? World War II. Correct. How many bagels would you have, have if you had two baker's dozen? Uh, 26. Correct. A leprechaun is the mascot for what cereal? Uh, Lucky Charms. Correct. Who wrote The Great Gatsby? Uh, 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 F. Scott Fitzgerald. Correct. Who is the lead singer of the band Aerosmith? Uh, Steven Tyler. Correct. Who is the Greek god of the sun? Oh, um, uh, oh, sh uh, pass. Got the clock. Who is the Greek god of the sun? Apollo? Question mark? I don't, I don't have a better guess. Yeah. Uh, Apollo. The correct answer is Helios. Oh, oh Apollo's Roman, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Your time starts again. Now, what is the capital capital of Portugal? Uh, Lisbon. Correct. Your relation. What relation to you is your mom's son? Uh, your uh, your half brother. I'm. I mean, is I'm not regular brother. Half brother. I mean, I guess technically. 
it could also be your half brother. Yeah. <laughs> if if <laughs> your mom in question. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I will give it to you because technically, like, it could be your brother. Your yeah. <laughs> I was just looking for your brother. <laughs> Eric Taylor but I will... talks about families. Here we go, right? <laughs> but I will take that. Um... Eric just has a complicated family. <laughs> yeah. You are all my family. Oh, anyway. <laughs> all right. Uh, your time begins again. Now, Avatar The Last Airbender was an animated series on what network? Nickelodeon. Correct. Of the three flavors of Neapolitan ice cream, which comes last alphabetically? Strawberry. Stop the oh. clock. Oh, vanilla. I vanilla. Just, yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yes. It's vanilla. All right. One minute, 10 steps to catch. This is going to be close. Woo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Your time begins again. Now, Death Valley is located in what U.S. state? California. Correct. What is 39 plus 87? Uh, 126. Correct. In the body, where would you find your tibia? Your leg. Correct. Chris Paul currently plays for what NBA team? The uh, the Nets. Stop the clock. That was incorrect. Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. It is the Warriors. Eight to catch. 41 seconds on the clock. Your time starts again. Now, what are the names of the two main characters in the movies Monsters Inc? Uh, Mike and Sully. Correct. What author wrote the Winnie the Pooh books? Oh, God. Pass. Stop the clock. It's A.A. Milne. A.A. Milne. Damn it. <laughs> that is correct. It is A.A. Milne. 30 seconds on the clock. You're going to have to push here. Your time starts Good. again. Now, a word or phrase that is spelled the same both forward and backwards is called what? Palindrome. Correct. The center dot of the Google Chrome logo is what color? Uh, white. Stop the clock. Red? I would blue. think. Blue. Blue? It's blue, I think. Okay, I'll go with you guys. <laughs> it is oh, blue. Oh, thank you. I just looked right at it. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote this question. I wrote this question very much knowing that most people could just look up at their screen <laughs> and see it. And um... <laughs> all right, twenty-one seconds. Your time starts again now. According to the phrase, a watch pot never what boils. Correct. It's finger looking good. Is the slogan for what fast food chain? Fancy. Correct. How many feet are in a mile? Uh, 5,280. Correct. By what three letters is monosodium glutamate better known? Uh, uh, MN, uh, MSG? Correct. Stephen Alec and Daniel, the first name, and it does not matter. The team has <laughs> now won the chase and takes yes! the victory. <laughs> oh my god, that was so hard. <laughs> yeah, this is very nervous. Wow. <laughs> so close <laughs> oh my god eric oh that was a great battle i mean i know i came game. on the losing end of it but look at the score 19 and no 18 and 22 that was amazing well done <laughs> well done everyone that was a great game across the board uh but our team comes home with a victory tonight after putting up uh what 17 in the in the final chase but they i mean they executed all of their pushbacks basically um except for the the greek god question so I will never look at a Google Chrome logo the same way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, but for our team, team, yes, a great game of team of Yap, Chris, and Aaron taking home the victory over Eric the Punisher. We'll see you guys next time on The Chase.